Hi everyone, Miss Patsy here. Today we will be studying the fifth grade science book, Mixtures and Solutions, Investigation 5, Fizz Quiz, Part 2, Reaction Products. Question, how can we identify the products from the baking soda and calcium chloride reaction? Let's find out. For our investigation for today, we will be using baking soda, calcium chloride, vinegar, water, the evaporation dishes from our previous investigation, a cup, and more evaporation dishes. Today we will be focusing on the chemical reaction that occurred in cup number one when we mixed calcium chloride, baking soda, and 50 ml of water. We know it's a chemical reaction because gas is being released. And if you remember from the last investigation, a precipitate is formed. A precipitate is a substance, also called a product, that forms as a result of a chemical reaction. So, so our goal today is to identify the precipitate. So how can we identify this precipitate or product from the baking soda and calcium chloride reaction? Here I have the evaporation dish from our investigation. And this is the, what we did was we filtered out the water and we put the solid in this evaporation dish. Now, how do we know that what was left in the cup is not baking soda or calcium chloride? Now here I have two cups, one with baking soda and water and one with calcium chloride with water. When you mix them separately with water, they form a solution. So that means that baking soda and calcium chloride dissolves in water. So if this is calcium chloride or baking soda, it should dissolve in water. So let's find out if that happens. Let's take a little bit from our evaporation dish. I didn't want quite that much. And let's add some water. If the precipitate is either calcium chloride or baking soda, it should dissolve in the water and form a clear solution. So let's sit, let that sit for a second. Another way to test our precipitate is to use vinegar. If the precipitate or the product is calcium carbonate, it will react with vinegar. So here's some vinegar. Let's add that into our evaporation dish. Now you can see that it's foaming. Ooh, 
coming a lot. Because the precipitate reacted with the vinegar, that tells us that when calcium chloride and baking soda and water are mixed together, they form calcium carbonate, which is another word for chalk. And we can see that it didn't fully dissolve with the water. So these two tests, this test rules out that it's calcium chloride or leftover baking soda. And this proves that the precipitate is calcium carbonate. Now what about the liquid that was formed from the reaction? Because remember, we tested the precipitate on the bottom here, but what about the liquid here? We filtered that out and we put that in an evaporation dish and this is what formed. Crystals. Now also if you recall from a previous investigation, what forms square crystals? It was the rock salt or table salt, sodium chloride, forms square crystals with a, a line across the diagonal. I don't know if we can see. Do you see the square crystals? To recap our findings, we found that in the chemical reaction between calcium chloride, baking soda, and water, we found that the chemical reaction created a precipitate of calcium carbonate that reacted with vinegar and also a liquid of sodium chloride salt and we proved that it was not leftover baking soda and calcium chloride because it did not dissolve in water. So let's take a look at our response sheet that goes with this investigation. Response sheet for investigation five. My neighbor wanted to make a model volcano. His aunt told him that a mixture of vinegar, baking soda, and soap powder would make a good lava. He made the mixture to see what would happen. Here are his observations. First, I mixed the soap powder and baking soda. Nothing happened. Then I added vinegar. The mixture bubbled and spilled over the edge of the cup. After the bubbling stopped, the liquid was clear. There was no precipitate. My neighbor said, I think I made a mixture, a solution, and a reaction. Do you think he made a mixture? Explain. Do you think he made a solution. Explain. And do you think he made a reaction? Explain. Email your teacher and let them know your responses to this response sheet. I hope you enjoyed our investigation for today. Until next time, have a great day.